Hey everybody, it's a vintage RVer. It's another evening working my second job trying to get projects done and out the door. Um, but I did, I wanted to let people know that I did get a package today from UPS and I'm going to uh, try to attempt to show people this here real quick. So this is from this. Here we go. There we go. There's the place. I'm gonna give the address here. Here you go. Um, it's www.centromatic.com. There's their address. Here are some of the parts here for the Chevy. Um, I have shoved the uh, rear uh, dualies that are 400 409s in this box, but as you can see here, it says balancer front. Um, so what I've done here is I've stuck these in here because I'm just trying to consolidate. But this is, give it this here, there is the front wheel, wheel balancer, which is, and let me tell you that, that this is so fresh, this came to me so fast, I don't think the paint had time to dry. It's a little sticky in places. It's not quite uh, not putting fingerprints in the paint. But you know, it's a it's a cool product. It even has the the part number stamped into the uh, in the hub, so you don't forget it, right? Uh, it has a patent number as well. So I want to make sure everybody knows they have a patent on this, which is uh, hey, that's what you got to do, right? So as you can see, it has a whole different series of holes in it to meet both Ford and Chevy stuff. Some things are a little look at they're a little offset. You can see they're a little for the different diameters which is okay so the idea is this is going to fit on the hub and then the tire itself is going to go over at the front tire and you can tell here there's a ring and you can hear this right they don't really describe that or show that but really there's just a series of metallic uh, beads in there okay So obviously as this tire is spinning around, it'll balance itself automatically. That's the idea, that's the concept. So I got, you know, two of those for the front, which is awesome. They're not, they're, they're heavy. I mean, they're not, these aren't just chintzy little things. I mean, the metal itself is not that thick, but obviously, you know, you don't want it to be, look at, you can see the paint on my hand. It's kind of coming off on my hand here. That's how fresh this stuff is. Um, I probably should, I don't know, I just, it's a little sticky still from being literally made and shipped right out real super fast. So I take these rings and you can see there's like a brazed connection that they do. And they put the beads in and seal them. And then there's all these retainer bend over clips here on it. And it's pretty efficient and I think it'll work pretty well. That's for the front wheel. Sorry for the yawn, been up late a couple nights. These, no, I'm not gonna get this out. These are for the rears, okay? These are the, for the dualies. And this basically fits in between the dualies, okay? So you take one tire, the outer tire off, you slip this bad boy on, and uh, these little, they look like handholds here. They're actually there for the, um, for the, um, the, you know, the tire stem you know, the valve stem. So, you know, those to help keep them out of the way. And, uh, and so you don't cut them or interrupt them. So again, this has got a series of uh, bolt patterns here. Very, very straightforward what it does. Um, you know, like I said, it's gonna go between the tires. This one for some reason does not have, although it does, yes it does. Sorry if I, sorry if I get the crazy pattern here. So it does, it, that's the part number there is 409. Don't know if you can see that. It's not too clear. I gotta just try to get it in the right light here. There you go, 409. And uh, so yeah, so they're labeled. These are for the Chevy. Uh, you can see it's been spot welded. You know, it's been clipped and then, and then sealed in place. So these all should hold up really well. These are, like I said, these are, are they about the same weight? see eh, I'd say these are heavier these are these these feel heavier than the fronts which they should be because you're doing dual wheels you need more weight and you know the rings are 
little larger diameter than the other ones because um, you're balancing two rear tires instead of one so i'm going to try these out going to get these on this weekend and uh, take it for a test drive on the throughway or at least some highway that i know i can get up to 65 miles an hour pretty consistently i might do that on preemption road or something it's a pretty straight shot uh, without a, a lot of curves and so i might be able to generate that 65 mile an hour uh road noise thing and see see if there's a difference between you know um what occurs when i'm driving it without these and with these new wheel balances going to also show you how to mount them and i'm also going to show you um if you have wheel weights on your tires you're gonna have to remove those because you're not supposed to have them on when you have these i, I can't imagine why it would really cause a major problem because if the wheel balancer weights are still on it might help compensate a little bit more but I, most of mine fell off anyways uh literally the first week or two that i got the new tires on and they they fell off so um gonna just get these on and see how the ride is different based on what they claim they say it's you know 25 percent increase in tire uh, life uh noise reduction obviously uh ride comfort improves which would be cool which would be cool uh, obviously, uh, vibration would be down, so that'd be good too. Um, especially with you know everything on board with like the stove rattling at 55 miles an hour, and then at 65 I get the road noise. So you can try to keep the sweet spot at 60 to avoid one and the other. It'd be nice that if this is truly um, compensating for any sort of wheel noise or vibration, uh, that all the little internal rattles would go away because I wouldn't have them because it wouldn't be anything rattling, because the rig wouldn't be vibrating. Um, so I could see that as a benefit, because it's a little, little nerve-wracking driving for 800 miles while your stove's rattling, uh, even if you stick towels in there and all that junk to try to stop it from going on. So anyways, uh, enough of my rambling here. At this point in the video, I'm going to put these on the rears. I'm going to put these on the, on, the, on the steers. Steers and drives. And I do have another one you know, in there, in the box um for the other for the other side so um set of four this set me back uh, almost 400 bucks and it was one of those things that i said oh i'm not going to spend that much money on but i got to tell you if it increases the tire life increases the ride comfort reduces the um this says it retires uh, reduces the tire temperature because of the frictional issue because the imbalance um and it increases fuel efficiency. They don't claim a whole lot of increase in fuel efficiency, but hey, anything is better than nothing. Um, so we're going to try this out and see how it works. We've got a trip coming in April. <coughs> Hoping to do this. Some of the other modifications I got going on, especially the rear end gear swap, which I would love to get done before the April trip and, uh, and see how that works out for um, the RV performance, for especially for the mileage. So anyways, again... As I said, I always ramble in these videos. Stay tuned. Next next uh, part of this is going to be me installing these. Take care. Yeah. Start taking them off. Unfortunately, we had to put some blocking under the jack because the three-ton jack now to have that one crap. Yeah. So we're gonna take this tire off. We're gonna take a screwdriver and get that weight off, that little what's left of that weight. There you go. Yeah, make sure these nuts are out of the way. Yeah, just smack it sideways a little bit. Nope, you could have, could have pulled it too. So notice what you do is you do this. You thread it, thread it back on, just slightly, and then you can then you can get that off. If it's sticking in there. <laughs> there you go. You know, let that sit on a tire. Okay, this should pop off. There it is. It's popping off. Now there's the ring. There's the ring there. 
There you go. You just get out of the way so you can pull the tire off. We got our Centromatic wheel balancer here. I'm gonna get that tire off. Your hands are gonna get dirty, but so what? It's gonna be heavy. Yeah, I'm just gonna let drop. Yeah, and then you want to get all these, all the nuts out of the way. Now you want to lay it down, face out, down on the ground. You want to no. You want to take it, lay it down. Is what you want to do here, based on the manufacturer. See, there's a little weight here. We got to get a screwdriver and pop that off. And you want to check the bead to make sure this bead, the centering bead, is even. And it looks to be reasonably even here around the outside. Plus, you also want to drop this in, line the bolt holes up with the bolts that are supposed to be lined up here like that. And you want to make sure there's no interference with the hub because you're going to put this on that hub first. So if you, you got a screwdriver, you want to just, yep, yeah, just tap, just go on this side and just tap it. Just don't hit the rim, get, get shallower. Yeah. There you go, because it's lead, so you should be able to wedge it in there and pop it off. Just wiggle it. All right, there you go. So that one's off. I'm going to take the wheel. Yeah, there's there's a clip on the outside the guys put on. It's right down there, so you want to get that one off too. I mean, not that there's a weight on it anymore. It's gone. Yeah, I guess so, but... There you go. So that's off. So now I gotta check the tire, make sure there isn't anything really horribly wrong with the tire. Doesn't look like there's any major crazy tire wear on it, which is good. Doesn't look like there's any cupping or anything. Um, and again, we're gonna get this down here. We're gonna get this tire balancer on. And we gotta center it up in the bolt holes that make the most sense. No. There you go. See how that slides right on? Now we got to put the tire. Now it's as simple as putting the tire back on. Now before we do that, we got to make sure that the it's not it's not bumping into the caliper or anything, right? No, Doesn't look like it, right? There's nothing touching it. The hub's sticking so far out that it's there's nothing here that's really messing with it. This is laying really flat with it, so good. So we'll put that back on gonna be the fun part but hopefully we didn't lift it that much off the ground so no it, it should it, just muscling it back onto the yeah, yeah. As close as try to get it a little more there you go there we go so there we go okay now we gotta get the ring on back on get it back on there there we go and then we got to start getting some nuts back on there and tighten them up just to start them all right get them back on there you can see the balancer right inside inside the hub there which is cool we'll do the rears on the uh on this side too while we're at it we're gonna get the jack down get the axle supported and then we'll, and then we'll get going there there we go that's the... There we go. Like I said, we'll get the last. We'll get that last one on there. You yeah, good enough? Switch it to two, not three. Just get it to two. It should be enough. See that wheel's out of balance. See how it rotated a little bit? Yeah. When you don't. Yeah. Then then go to the opposite. There you go. You don't, want to you don't want to do concentric. You want to go. Do you want to jump back and forth? Yep. Just to get it even. We'll retighten them once we get it on the ground. Yeah, I know that the clip circlips busted. So. No, the wheel's not binding. That's all. Alright. Well, 
about that one. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna loosen this jack. I got the safety on it. Same here, so I'll take that off. And we just take this. I have to use the breaker bar because I. Now I'm gonna just take this and slowly. Well, a little more slowly. There you go. Eesh. There we go. Loosen her up. Drop her down a little bit more. There we go. Now we'll do the rears. Okay, well, it was stuck in my pants here. It turned down. So, probably got audio, but not much video. That's okay. I'm going to edit that out. But the rear is up. Had to put it. Does it go under here? Had to put it right on the axle. So, three ton jack worked. Probably if I went further, I could jack the whole rear end off, but I really don't want to do that now. I want to just get the one side and go to the other side. Front and rear again. Maybe I'll just do the rears. I'll swap this and do the rear and then go back to the front. But in the meantime, that's what we're gonna do. So you can see it's off the ground. Reverse and go to it, young man. Okay, so we've got that slight interruption there. So again, don't wanna mess with the tire stem, which I'm trying to fix. Oh, there it is. Tire stem's up there. Right up there. So I gotta, I'm gonna hold this for me. I don't want to be in the picture. <laughs> so just, you know, so we're going to take this. I don't think it matters whether it faces this way or this way. So I'm just going to get this on there. And again, I don't think it's going to interrupt the, where the tire stem is up here. So you want to be able to rotate this a little bit. See, how, is it going to fit? Oh, look at that. I'm going to spin it a little bit to get those bolts on. Oh wow. I don't think I'm gonna get one the tire stem is right there. I wanna get this oh this is a little snugger than the other one, that's for sure. Okay. There we go. So now, now that's pretty snug. And I can still get to the tire stem if I gotta get to it. I can still see it there. So we're good. So now we're gonna get struggle to get that tire back on. So wheel balancers on. It should be. Oh boy, hold on. We gotta figure this out here. Yeah, because that's this is outside, so this is the inside. So it's there's no way that's gonna interfere with that because that's going that's gonna be like sticking out. So that should be okay. And then we got the tire stem there. So I gotta be cognizant of that too. So all right. I'll get this tire on. I don't want to video the struggle. Alright, on. Tire stem is there. That's good. Alright, we're getting the last one on. The one that was making the most vibration. The passenger side front. You can see we got the Centromatic there. Back here. Really dirty back end. That one's in. And we're getting the last one. Quite on. Alrighty then. Jump down. He's the right way in the ignition. Major temperature change. It went from like 20s to like almost 50 today. It's been uh, playing a little fun with the car, but we're back to now that we're warming up here. It's a little better. All righty, we're gonna try this out. <laughs> we believe we have all the lug nuts tightened up. We're gonna see what happens. No. Yeah. Oh shoot, we do? Okay. Well, let's let's secure that. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So if 
55, we had that stove rattle, right? The stove would rattle like a mother. It wouldn't stop, right? Yeah. We're at 60. We're at 65. Does the ride feel different? It sounds different. Right? I gotta watch out because this guy's not going so fast. He might be turning. <laughs> yeah, other than the occasional ting. Yeah, they're turning. Yeah. the turn. There you go. Right, so now we got clear road here. Accelerate again. Open up the four barrels. So I'm a little over 65 right now. Stone burners, uh, burner guards. Oh, maybe if I put it in dry, that would actually help. All right, that would be a good thing. There we go. It's always hard to tell with this thing. Okay, stay clear of all those uh, markers for the snow plow. Nobody coming that way? Good. Yeah, Nobody coming clear. this way? All right. and, you know, 65, 
because that seemed to be the sweet spot, but that's pretty cool. I like that. Nice and quiet. Sunday late afternoon. The rig is back with wheel balancers on it. She drove a lot better. Quieter, smoother. I gotta tell you, these guys, uh, they deliver on their product. Um, can't wait to get it out on uh, next road trip and see how she does on the highway, especially with the uh, fuel economy. Uh, put a couple of ruts in the, in the grass, but you know, it is thawing out here, so. doing pretty well anyways so that's what we've got for today thank you for watching happy and safe RVing